Hello guys, it's me again, Amar, and I'm back with another video. In today's video, I'm gonna explain how to set up MSI Afterburner for overclocking. Before we start, don't forget to hit like, subscribe to the channel, and let's start. Alright guys, so um, I'm gonna leave the Unigen Heaven Benchmark 4.0 link in the description below. And also you can use the um, 3D Mark stress test if you want, if you already purchased that. So, But I'm gonna show how to do it with unigen heaven benchmark so anyways first of all um i'm gonna crank everything up to extreme ultra and so on and i'm using a 1440p monitor but for now i'm not gonna use 2560 by 1440 i'm gonna use like um 2560 by 1600 so it will create a bit more load on the gpu side so yeah let's do this and of course i'm not gonna run at full screen because i want this um this window to pop in while running the loop so first of all um do it at your own risk i'm not responsible if you break your card or anything but most probably you're gonna be fine not breaking your card so anyways um power limit and temperature limit all the way up because you don't want to be um, limited by your power nor by your temperatures and then you're just gonna add 25 to the core clock you're gonna increment 25 25 25 till you get a hard crash like 25 and then going to 50 wait for five minutes nothing happens go to 75 Wait for another 5 minutes, nothing happens. Okay, so I'm gonna push 100. When you push 100, you're gonna see a crash like... You're gonna see a crash. Like, the thing gonna close. The window pops, gonna close. So you know you're, you're reaching the limit. Like, 100 is my limit, I'm gonna back off another 25 megahertz and rerun the test. All right, so if this is gonna be stable, you don't get any crashes, you're just gonna go to your memory clock. And on memory clock, I usually go with, with 50 or with 100 as when I start. So just go by, increment, by an increment of 50, like 50, 100, like in every two, three minutes, just go and usually memory can take a lot than core clock so yeah so 200 maybe wait for a few minutes nothing happens again increase to maybe 300 wait for a few minutes nothing happens and so on and so forth okay so my card i know that it can do like 50 on the core clock it it can do 75 but it won't be stable and on memory clock i can do like 775 all right all right hold on a minute editing amar here um i forgot a crucial step for the uh voltage and frequency curve you're just um, gonna go to setting unlock voltage control unlock voltage monitoring and force constant voltage you're gonna check all these three ticks so in order to continue the um overclocking at least for the voltage and frequency curve so and after that you can open this thing which they call it um frequency uh, voltage frequency curve on pascal cards you can push 1093 millivolt all right but i'm not gonna push that because after i did my testing there's no difference between 1075 and 1093 on my card at least so at 1075 millivolt i'm gonna increase another 25 megahertz all right and okay see nothing happens i'm still at 2025 why because I'm voltage limited now i need to adjust the slider all the way up and then click okay and boom see i'm at 1075 millivolt i got 20 50 megahertz on the core clock and this is my daily use system so it's rock stable so your mileage may vary even if you got like the same graphic card you might be getting different results than mine so yeah after like running this bench for like um half an hour to an hour 
nothing going on, it's not freezing, it's not stuttering or anything, then launch a few games, play, and if you get any crashes, then you know it's probably because of your overclock on your graphic card. If you already own this software, the um, 3D Mark Advanced Edition from Steam, then you can run the um, Time Spy stress test, like for a loop, or or maybe you can push the extreme Time Spy extreme. But for me, Time Spy stress test, the normal one, it's already enough. It's I guess it's a 1440p, 2560 by 1440p, so it should be more than enough. I'm gonna just run the stress test and gonna leave it running till it stops by itself so so i'm back again on 3d mark time spy stress test it's been running for like 15 to 18 minutes i guess so i know it's stable i'm just demonstrating the um what's gonna happen when you do the stress test and after you make sure like you ran 3d mark time spy stress test you just play your normal games see how it goes if it crashes or something then you know there's something going on on your overclock so yeah don't forget to hit like subscribe to the channel and i'll see you on the next one